So quadratic systems of equations, we have here in a quadratic equation, a quadratic function, y equals negative a, x minus 1 all squared plus 8. I've drawn that in red here on the side. And we have the linear equation 3x minus 2, which I've drawn in the blue on the side. Now, the key information here is that a is less than 0. And we have a vertex that is in the positive in the quadrant 1. If we can imagine what this looks like, it's an upside down parabola. And we have a, a linear function with positive slope cutting through the parabola in this way. So in this case, we must have two solutions. So we're going to end up with two solutions. A solution here. Oops, what happened there? We're going to have a solution here and a solution here. So there's going to be two solutions in this case. And what's going to be the easiest way to determine the number of solutions is visually what, what, does, what do these two graphs look like and how can they interact with each other. For number two, we're looking at an system of equations. So we need to solve for both x and y. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first solve for y y equals 4 minus x. Okay, I'm going to call that equation 1. We're going to call that equation 2. I'm just going to color code these a little bit. So equation 1 is going to be this linear equation. Equation 2 will make it the quadratic equation here. So once we've made these equal to y, what I can do is do some substitution. I could either substitute or I can eliminate to solve a system. So in this case, I'm just going to make equation 1 equal to equation 2. So equation 1 is 4 minus x, and I'm going to make that equal to x squared minus x minus 12. So I've made them both equal to y and then substituted the y in the equation. So there's my system of equations. I have my system of equations has eliminated my variable. So now I can solve this for x. So I'm going to make this into a quadratic equation equal to 0. So x squared. In this case, the x's cancel out. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I get x squared minus 16. I can solve this as a quadratic by factoring, but this is I could also solve by square rooting. So I end up with x squared equals 16, and then x is equal to plus minus 4. Now it's important to remember that the solution, I have not solved this system because although I've solved for x, I still need to solve for y. So I'm going to have x is equal to 4, I need to solve for y. And to do that, I'm going to use the easier of the two equations. So equation 1 looks much easier to solve for y. If I plug x in for x is 4 into this equation, I get y is 0, so then y is 0. So that's my ordered pair. My one solution is going to be at 4, 0. The other solution is going to happen when x is equal to negative 4. Again, I'm going to plug it back into the easier of the two solutions, which is this blue one here. And when I solve for y, I get y is equal to uh, 4 minus negative 4, which I get positive 8. So my other solution is at negative 4, positive 8. So there is this, the solution to my system of equations here and here. Now when I sketch this, I'm going to sketch a parabola for the red part for equation 2 and a linear function for the blue part. So just looking at the first function, y equals 4 minus x. It has a slope of negative 1, y-intercept of 4. So I've drawn it in blue here. Okay, That's fairly straightforward. For the parabola, I have to make sure that I sketch a good parabola here. So since it is in this form here, the general form, I really can just get the y-intercept at negative 12, but I want some symmetrical points to graph this. So that's really important that we remember how to graph these functions. So starting with y equals, I'm 
I'm going to draw a line here. Y equals x squared minus x minus 12. I'm going to first of all factor it because this is actually not that hard to factor. Negative 4 plus 3. And that's going to give me my zeros, which are going to give me symmetrical points. So I can draw the, the zeros in. Okay, the zeros are going to be, maybe I'll just highlight them. The zeros are here and here. Okay, and I can see that as I sketch an upward parabola, I'm going to get my two solutions. And just to reiterate, the solution to the system is at 4, negative 8, or sorry, negative 4, positive 8, and 0, 4, which is going to be found on those two points. But the drawing of the parabola is also important. So we need to be able to draw this in. So I started with my zero coordinates. So here and here. If I find, the, I want to find the middle, which is going to be where the vertex is going to be found. And that's going to be finding the average of negative 3, positive 4, which is positive 0.5. And I'm going to plug 0.5 into x into one of the equations. I, I actually use this equation here to get negative 3.5 times positive 3.5, and it gives me negative 12.25. So there's my vertex. Okay, I happen to have graphed the y-intercept here and a symmetrical point for the y-intercept here because as we have symmetrical points, it's going to be much easier to draw the parabola. So I've used symmetrical points to do this. And I've kind of made a table of values here. But again, you don't necessarily have to make a table of values. But you need to have key coordinates to be able to draw this parabola.